It's amazing to see the return of James Arthur Ray, this uh, voodoo guy who um, caused a whole bunch of people to um, suffer. I think three died in some retreat he had. Now, the judge gave him a nice speech about how with this responsibility he has and his influence and so on and so forth. He was convicted on a felony um, negligent homicide. But I think this judge didn't go far enough because it is not necessarily he who has been intentionally uh, interested in killing people. It's the system, it's the method, it's this program that really um, did the job. And the judge should have said, you know what, I'm giving you a permanent injunction that you shall not practice those, um, any of those things anymore. If you want to talk to people about you know, thinking positive and whatever, good. But when you go into these retreats and having this heat and all this walking through cold and all this kind of stuff, no, 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 no more of that. But you see, that would have gone too far. That will also happen to the um, one who says, I'm not your guru. Um, what's his name? He was a big fat guy, homeless in LA, and he started talking crazy and, and, and doing hypnotism. Um, and, and, and all kind of mesmerism and so forth, and you become a big celebrity. Um, so, yeah, so we have um, Tony Robbins also practicing the same voodoo. People got hurt, but I don't think anybody has ever died in, um, in Tony Robbins, um, you know, seance and voodoo. But it's amazing to see an advanced country like America has turned back to things that are prevalent in Africa and India and in China, that voodoo. And voodoo is what kept these countries back. Of course, voodoo is helping them to advance because they have no respect for the citizens and no respect for the environment. And they're very vicious and, 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 and coming up with some scampishness that they're doing well. But Europe, as usual, um, was in the same dark ages in the Middle Ages. And then um, Martin Luther broke the, 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 the spell with his 9-5 um, thesis, and um, people start studying the Word of God, start praying, giving Jesus the preeminence that he has, and then these white folks take off. They begin to excel in science and knowledge in other fields, and now they start thinking that, oh, my eyes are blue and green and are blonde here, we're so smart. But they forgot that during the Dark Ages, they were backward just like Africa and, and every other part of the world, India and China and all them places. But it is God who gives them the breakthrough. And they've taken their hands out of God, but things haven't collapsed as yet or going back into the Middle Ages. Although it seems as if we're close to the Middle Ages, or perhaps in the Middle Ages, I may not be aware of what's happening exactly. But so when you have um, this guy Ray here and Robin's out there fooling people, and you know what? I, I know for sure um, that uh, Tony Robbins, uh, I, I remember he was a fat, overweight guy in LA homeless and he started doing magic he started talking crazy and, and suddenly he ended up going to the white house and having big shows and all this kind of stuff now he's a big shot but does he have a doctorate does any of them have any education and they're advising businesses now how can a guy who has no knowledge about business or any education at all just coming up with positive thinking and, and confidence tricks and, and voodoo and business this is why your business will collapse because it's only God who could prosper your business. And these guys are obviously working with Satan. And if you're not smart enough to see it, then you're going to get them to come and talk to your business and so forth. Nobody traces, but these businesses do start performing bad. Or even if they're doing well, it's because of an evil world. And what's going to happen eventually, um, they're going to end up collapsing and end up having problems. So I think that this judge, you know, missed the, the, the mark. He should have sanctioned this Ray guy. So he can't come back out having people going to retreats. No, you can't even have surrogates doing it and he's sponsoring it behind the scenes, nothing like that. None of that. He has to stay with writing books and talking about, you know, think and get your way out of this and whatever. But anytime you have these retreats with people going in these extreme heat and all these voodoo kind of maneuvers and dying or whatever, you know, you should get a life in prison for that. And so um, he's back out again. And we'll see what's going to happen, if he's going to continue, or if he's going to stop, or if he's going to go straight. But hardly. When they enter this evil, and the Satan takes over their lives, they're going to find a way to get through, and they're going to create more problems.